If you're in the construction business, you know how important it is to waterproof below grade surfaces. Multicoat Product Systems has a line of impenetrable defense against moisture related problems in most below grade areas. Our Slatex below grade waterproofing system combines an elastomeric waterproof membrane with a flexible, water resistant coating to provide a seamless, protective shield. This video will introduce you to these coatings, familiarize you with their advantages, and show you how to apply them correctly. Multicoat, the coating of the future today. The Slatex below grade waterproofing system consists of Melasticoat, the distinctive blue coating known for its elastomeric properties, and cementitious scratch coat, which covers and protects the Melasticoat waterproof membrane from abrasion during the backfill process and beyond. These products together provide superior waterproofing to most below grade surfaces, including mason block, poured in place concrete, slump stone, and various types of foam materials. The products are highly resistant to fungus and mildew penetration, as well as efflorescence bleed through. They are easy to apply with no special safety apparatus required, and downtime is minimal. Melasticoat and scratch coat are super bonding highly resistant to impact, abrasion, and minor structural movement, and offer excellent freeze-thaw resistance. Unlike solvent or asphalt-based materials that tend to dry out and crack in a short amount of time, water-based Melasticoat will always maintain its elasticity and bonding strength. Last but not least, they are water-based and environmentally safe. There are some temperature and moisture guidelines to consider before using the Slatex below grade waterproofing system. Do not apply these products if the substrate temperature is below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Similarly, do not apply them if the ambient temperature is less than 50 degrees Fahrenheit and falling, or over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and rising, or if precipitation is expected within a 12 hour period. Before you begin work, make sure there is ample room behind the structure so you can easily and safely apply coatings all the way down to the footing. All surfaces to be treated must be free of grease, oil, paint, dirt, dust, sealers, latents, concrete curing compounds and other foreign materials which may prevent proper bonding of Melasticoat. A minimum 3000 PSI water blaster is a good way to prepare a dirty substrate allow a minimum of 24 hours to dry. If substrate is new and relatively clean, use a wire brush to remove any loose material that may inhibit proper bond. Then use an air blower to clean off the remaining dust. Be sure to remove all dust and dirt from the footing as well. All holes, cracks, beehives, and other voids must be filled with suitable mortar or grout. We suggest using multi-coat speed mix or multi-patch. When the filling material is completely dry, you're ready to begin waterproofing. The first thing you'll need to do is lightly stir the molasses coat with a hand paddle. Now begin to roll on the first coat with a three quarters to one and a quarter inch nap roller on a heavy duty extension pole. This first coat of molasses coat is the bond coat. Roll it out thin using firm pressure. Be sure to work it into the pores of the substrate. Roll the Melasticoat onto the footing as well, tamping it down into the corner between the wall and the footing. Do not allow Melasticoat to build up in corners or crevices. Use a roller or paintbrush to even out material in these areas. When Melasticoat changes from light to dark blue, typically after two hours, it's ready for a second coat. Roll on a thicker layer of Melasticoat. Apply it more liberally than the first coat in order to build the Melasticoat to its proper mill thickness. Make sure to fill all pinholes or voids that may remain in the block. Try to roll in the opposite direction of the first coat for best coverage. Again, make sure you coat the footing as well. Allow to dry a minimum of 24 hours. Before proceeding with a coat of scratch coat, 
Remove any accumulated dust or dirt with a damp sponge. Mix dry scratch coat with clean water in a ratio of one 65 pound bag of dry mix to about two gallons of water. Mixture may vary due to temperature conditions. Make sure to mix the material thoroughly so that all particles are wet and there are no lumps. Apply mixed scratch coat promptly with a roller, trowel, or in this case a spray gun. Apply evenly to the entire surface, including the footing, making sure to cover the blue molasta coat completely. After the initial cure of approximately one hour, check to make sure that all molasta coat is covered with scratch coat. Apply additional scratch coat as needed. The scratch coat curing process is complete and ready for backfill after 24 hours. The multi-coat Slatex below-grade waterproofing system cannot be damaged easily. However, if repairs are necessary, remove any loose scratch coat, then reapply Melastic Coat and Scratch Coat in the way we've described. Contact the professionals at Multicoat for full details on the products you've seen here. They will analyze your job and tailor a system to your specific needs. Multicoat, the coating of the future, today.